will allow us to make the streets safer. It will also allow us to uh, reinvigorate our commitment to uh, transparency. There is a lot of talk of transparency today as the first Cincinnati cops hit the streets wearing body cameras. The cameras are very visible on the front of the shirts of the police officers now wearing them. They're the cops who patrol the business district. And a lot of research went into the city's body camera policy. When do cops turn it on? Where to store the video? How long does it stay? Local 12's Deborah Dixon shows us what the cameras mean to you. This is what happens at a roll call before cops hit the streets. Equipment is checked. Now the sergeant will check to see if the little green light is on on the newest piece of equipment, body cameras. Police officers will turn the cameras on whenever they make runs. It's attached to a magnet on their chests. If for some reason we get in a struggle or what have you um, and they grab it and they're able to pull it, um, it's strong enough it'll stay on for a little bit, but if they actually do rip it off and they take it, then then we don't have, any, we don't have any issues have with video, it. But you also have video. Well, the video of him, of him taking it, absolutely. Yeah. Mayor John Cranley said the people of Cincinnati have a right to know what the government is doing. And that's the basic concept around cameras, which is transparency. This is your government at work, and we're not afraid because we are proud of our officers, and we know that they will act professionally. We're doing this to be the type of police department that they desire us to be, and this is another step, uh, you know, in that regard. Do you have a license on you? Body cam video is the main evidence in the murder trial of former UC police officer Ray Tenzing. It shows him shooting Sam DeBose in the head during an off-campus traffic stop. But body cams also show incidents of bravery, such as this Glendale cop's confrontation with a knife-wielding man on I-75. Sir, get down! Cincinnati police officers I talk to like having the cameras. These cameras are only going to help us do things better. I mean, it's only, that's the only thing I can say is they're going to help us do a lot of things better. There are instances where um, having this would just back up our story and say, no, that's, that's not what happened. Other cities with body cams show both police and citizens act differently when a camera is rolling. Fewer citizen complaints, maybe it makes an officer or two wise up about how they talk to somebody. And so they, we've seen from talking to other departments that have deployed this that it's been a benefit on both sides of the fence. At the end of the day, police officers put their body cameras in this docking station. The cameras are charged, the video is uploaded to the cloud and kept for 90 days. By the end of the year, there will be 700 of these in police stations all over the city. Deborah Dixon, Local 12 News. And the city is paying about $6 million over seven years for the body cams. Officers don't need to tell people they're being recorded.